everyone this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my full review of the Synology Disk Station DS712 Plus. Now the reason you're seeing sort of a wide angle shot of my editing suite at the moment is because I wanted to show you it actually in situ and like you can see it's just over here tucked away in the corner and that is how small the 712 Plus is so it's very easy to accommodate in either a home office or a small office environment. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Network Attached Storage, or NAS, which is the, the short way of saying it, before I show you that device up a little bit closer. And really just chat with you about why you might want to buy a NAS device. Well, for somebody who's perhaps using this in a home environment, you might have a desktop computer and a laptop and maybe something like a Sony PS3, just for example. You might store all of your music on your desktop and you might store some videos on your desktop as well and let's set the scenario that you want to uh, listen to that music on your laptop. Well without a NAS there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can either have your desktop switched on and share that library across to your laptop and then you could listen to the music or you could pull the music across to your laptop and listen to it that way. If it was a movie and you wanted to watch it on your laptop, the best way of doing it without an ads would be to copy it across to the laptop, watch the movie and then delete it from your laptop to save some space. Or if you wanted to watch it on your PS3, you would either have to share it across from your computer, so that would mean having your computer switched on all the time, or you would have to actually burn it onto a disc and physically put that disc in your PS3. With a NAS device, you can centrally store all of your files. So that can be music, movies, documents, a whole host of different files, photos for example, and then they become available to all of the other devices that are connected to your network. So on your PS3, you would simply access the movies that were stored on your NAS device. Second scenario is either a home office or a full-blown or full size I should say office scenario where you might have multiple computers all wanting to access a document folder for example um, without a NAS or a server you would have to actually have people working locally on those files and then you'd have to synchronize all those back up and it just becomes a bit of a mess so with a NAS all of the documents that people are working on can reside on one central location and be accessed to anyone connected to that network. So that's why you might want to consider a network attached storage device. Now let's take a closer look at the Synology Disk Station DS712 Plus. So here we go, this is the Synology DS712 Plus up nice and close for you and I wanted you to see it actually in situ because I wanted you to get a good idea of the actual size. Now it's sitting next to one of my studio monitors here, so it's about half the size of one of my speakers. And this is my little eight port ethernet switch here. So you can see in comparison to that, it's a nice compact unit. Now around the back, the part you can't see, there are a couple of USB 2 ports and a couple of ethernet ports on there as well. And the ethernet ports support up to gigabit speeds. And that's how I've got it connected to my network. It's actually connected via an Ethernet cable into this switch here. Now on the front of the device you can see various lights. There's a couple of lights here above each of the two drive bays. And these drive bays are lockable as well. And that's probably because this is really one of Synology's higher end models. And it's destined to go into an office environment. So it's very important that your hard drives are secure. That somebody can't just walk past and take one out without actually having the key. So you unlock by just turning the key in the bottom there and then you can actually slide the two drive bays in and out to swap the hard drives and they're hot swappable and what that means is you don't have to power down the device to actually swap them out. Now the reason you might swap a hard drive out is if one of them fails you can actually set this up in a RAID configuration so that 
bay one is actually mirrored onto bay two, which gives you some data redundancy. And if one drive fails, you know you've got a good um, backup or a good mirror of all of that data on the other drive. And if one drive does fail, you just pop the bay out, put a new drive in, and it will rebuild the data and re-mirror it across to the other drive. Now moving on to the status lights, we've got a status light at the top here, we've got a couple of LAN lights, uh, we've got another USB socket here, power button at the bottom, and it's all housed in a sort of metal clad unit. Now the reason you'll pay a little bit more for the DS712 Plus over other drives is because of the performance. Other drives have slower processors and less memory and they move data around a lot slower but this is one of the sort of higher end models and it actually sports a 1.8 gigahertz central processing unit or CPU. It's also got one gigabyte of DDR3 memory as well. Now the full size three and a half inch drives fit in here no problem at all. You can also put in uh, two and a half inch solid state drives if you so wish. You have to purchase an adapter separately to do that. I also mentioned there's two uh, LAN lights on the front and that's because you can actually connect this to two, two different networks at the same time. Now not only are you getting that central file storage, you're also getting some extras thrown in on top. Synology have got some great software for managing the device, I've shown you this in my previous videos, and it offers up things like a mail server, web station, surveillance station, photo station, also an iTunes server, print server and an audio station as well. There's also dedicated iPhone and Android applications for accessing things like the photos, audio stored on there, files and also for seeing IP cameras that are actually um, you're actually able to purchase separately and connect to this device. Surveillance station on here I actually showed you in one of my previous videos absolutely fantastic you can put an IP camera attached to this and it will record to one of the internal hard drives great for security uh, and a real bonus feature on these devices now I mentioned before this is one of the sort of higher end models in the Synology range the DS712 Plus you can actually buy without any hard drives in it so you bring your own hard drives and it will cost you £395 in the UK or $490 if you're in the US. That might sound like a lot, but the build quality and the performance on this is absolutely fantastic. I was achieving between 160 and 180 megabytes per second on the read speed, and on write speed I was achieving just under 100 megabytes per second. Absolutely fantastic, I couldn't fault that at all. I really do like the quality of the Synology products. I love the front end software that they provide with Disk Station Manager and again I can just, just highly recommend them. I know this sounds like a fully positive review and it really is. The DS712 Plus gets the Geekanoids Gold Award because for me I could not find anything to fault with it. Well thank you very much for watching. This has been Dave from Geekanoids and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.